the back of the neck, the front of the neck. And we also involve the shoulder girdle. How are you doing, Paul? Good. Yeah? What's happening for you right now? What's going on? It's a little bit struggling with the cold here. So just adjust myself. The weather, you mean? The weather, yeah. Okay. How is it affecting your body? Still feeling a little bit more stiff than usual, but also all the breath work now it just like opens it up and yeah, feeling like almost normal again. Okay. And where is the stiffness that you experience in your body? Um, just a little bit around my um, like upper back, kind of up and like behind the heart area, and also shoulders. much responsibility, a lot of weight on your shoulders, huh? So what might be this responsibility for you? What is, what is the weight that you feel that you have to carry on, on your shoulders? Um, I think a lot is just the, the project that I started. I've been working on the last six years. It's just a lot. There's so many levels, so many things to hold together and to carry and to move forward. How do you feel yourself right now around your throat area, the front of the neck and the throat? Um, I feel a little bit of a restriction. Just um, yeah, noticing when we were talking earlier, just like how often I don't speak up or how often I choose to be quiet and rather listen and not speak my truth or not so much. Just playing with that balance. And what do you feel that comes in the way of you speaking your truth? Um, obviously some fear of not being accepted or fear of causing trouble, causing, causing uneasiness, disturbing the peace. You don't want to offend anybody somehow? Yeah. All right. So let's, uh, let's try to attempt to open this area for you. Can I have a couple of boxes of tissue, a box of tissue here? Somebody can pass me one. <coughs> All right, you can lie down, have your head here. And like we did the other day, you can bring your knees into the position where you start to feel the vibration. Yeah, you can put the soles of your feet together and allow your knees to fall out to the side completely. So now you can start to move your knees a bit closer together until you encounter a place even slower than that, until you encounter the place where there's some vibration starts to happen in your inner thigh. And you stay in this area. <clears throat> Great. So now you can close your eyes and go into very, very deep, deep connected breath. Start to breathe through your mouth. Yeah. And for deeper breath to come in, you really need to open your lower jaw. And this goes to a lot of you guys who yesterday observed in your session that you have your mouth half closed in your breathing. And so you only take in half the amount of air than you can normally do if you have your jaw completely relaxed. So a lot more air can come in at once. So if you observe Paul's breath, what do you make out of it? Where is the breath moving? Which area of the body it bypasses? <coughs> Can someone tell me? The sternum is collapsing. <laughs> yeah. So it moves in the belly and bypasses the chest. Yeah? Yeah. So what do you make out of this? There's muscle constriction in the chest. Can you repeat it, please? There's muscle constriction in the chest. Constriction in the chest. 
And what can this mean to you? Does it have rings? Yes. What else? Okay. What else? He's carrying something on his heart that's heavy. It's like that the breath can't move through it because it's a weight. Yes. It does feel like a weight in the heart. It looks like a weight right now. If you tune into him energetically now, like if I tune in, like I feel that yeah, I, the heart is protected as something heavy, kind of pressing on the heart area. So we work today with the major expression center, which is the throat, and also the level, uh, the belt of tension, which is above it, is a, is a jaw. If the energy wants to come up to the throat and it wants to express and the throat starts to open up, our body is wired in a way that it wants to somehow stop the spontaneous release of energy. So the level which is above the one that we're working, it tends to become even tighter to prevent the, the expression, to prevent the release. So if we work with, with one level, it's always good to work with the level below and above. So we kind of stimulate always, there's this room for the energy to move. That it's not, we just work with one and it starts to move and then gets interrupted. We need to create space for it, a pathway. So yesterday we worked a little bit with the face and also we already touched up working with the, with the jaw and the throat yesterday and encourage you to make some sounds. So today we're going to take it even further. So now, Paul, I want you to to open your jaw even a bit wider, yeah, so more air starts to come in and you can even hear it in his breath right away, more powerful intake and outflow of air. So I'm going to go with some deep pressure into the jaw and what I want you to do, Paul, is to stick out your tongue and keep it out for a while, so you breathe with your tongue out. And if you feel like you that some coughing comes, you can cough and you can also spit. So now anything that comes for you, I don't want you to swallow. So spit that becomes that starts to accumulate, I give you some tissue, you can just spit it out. And for you in your session, this is I want you to work with. It symbolizes that all your life that you had to swallow things it was given to you and you swallow. You don't speak out. Yeah. Eat your vegetables. I don't want to. No, you have to eat it. Okay. And then you swallow it, and then all this constriction starts to form. And then you don't know how to speak up, how to say what you want to say, and it becomes tighter and tighter. So now, keep your tongue out, Paul. This will prevent you from swallowing. So anything, some saliva starts to accumulate, Coughing may want to come, you spit out into the tissue. Yeah, good. At the same time, I'm applying some pressure at the back of his neck. You could hear how his breathing starts to change. The throat becomes more open, and you could hear how the, the flow of air becomes more free. Keep the tongue out. Great. At the same time, you can really allow the knees to vibrate. And you can see this tremoring wants to come up the body. And this is great that this is happening.
if the spit starts to come up, you just spit it into the tissue. <coughs> yeah, good. Keep the tongue out. Yeah, it's great. And already the, the vocal expression wants to come up. Yeah, by itself. I didn't even ask him. The sound wants to come up. Facilitate this to go even deeper. We go into this muscle right here, SCM sternocleidomastoid. It's called muscle of a thousand tears. So you can go in with the pressure. This will make him make sound. And oftentimes this sound turns into crying. So all the energy, this tremor that wants to come up the body, we're clearing the space for it so it has the chance to express. And I will do another side. So when I press ball, you can really make sound. to come into the chest, yeah, there's a more movement here when he breathes in. <laughs> I can help it also, there's two pressure points. Yeah. Spit out into the tissue. Don't swallow anything, Paul. Now.
When the strong current of energy comes up and there is still block here, <coughs> coughing comes. It's like choking. Yeah. So it's important to continue to cough a bit and clear so this area opens up even more. And you could see the result. This is a major release point in the body. Any tension that's held in the body, you press it down. It allows the energy to just shoot down. And a lot of shaking came in his hips when I pressed that. At this point, I want you to slow down for a moment and just let yourself feel what is happening. And so I want to resource him to my touch to slow him down a bit so he can really connect to what is going on. So he's not really lost in his process. I want him to stay present as much as possible. There's a lot of energy happening here in the belly area. If the tremoring comes for you, just allow it. Let it, let it happen. The more he's letting go into this tremoring, the more his body will follow and the whole body will start to vibrate and shake. So the point is to keep resourcing the person who's breathing that they keep connecting with the process that's happening for them, that they're not lost completely in what's going on. Stay with this vibration. Stay breathing. Yeah, stay breathing. Deep and full. You can see the breath now that it comes in and it comes in the wave. It goes into the belly, it goes into the chest. and therapy this is called orgasm reflex because it triggers a free flow of movement of energy through the central nervous system through the spinal cord and it it very much feels like an orgasm a you know, full body orgasm See how much breath came into the chest. So drastically different from the beginning of the session. Huh?
keep allowing to surrender to this vibration flow. And stay breathing. Another thing I can do is to bring some movement into his shoulder. Then I pick up his, his arm and I slowly start to move in very in, in a way that has no pattern. Kind of a, like a joint release. Ask him to pick up on this movement and continue. And I do one side and then I do the other. First I will start and then you can So the movement can come in a very soft, uncontrolled, unconditioned way. So the body can pick up on this and expand. And keep allowing the shoulders, the arms to move. Now you can see the whole body is engaged. And it's great that this tremoring is happening throughout the whole process. There's a lot of movement. I give him all the space to explore it. So I'm not always on him touching and making him do something. So you you touch you, and then you wait for a result. And then you allow the person to experiment, to explore, to express. Yeah. So what we go for is a complete opening of the spine as much as possible. So the energy has a clear channel to move. Yes, allow, allow, yes, allow. Allow the head, the body to move, yes. Just surrender to us. Ah. 
So what do you make out of this kind of movement? What does it tell you? What do you feel when you press into this type of movement? What does it trigger in you? It feels like the body is expressing things that's wanted to express in the past that you couldn't. The reaching out, the grabbing, the holding. It's like feels like an unwinding, expressing. And the main thing that you just said is reaching out. Yeah, this is what we talked about earlier. The impulse to reach out gets interrupted, and we form protection around our body. This is our personality structure. Yeah. So now we're supporting him to to again experience this impulse to reach out, that it's met actually. The reaching out is met. So what I will do now, I will actually be present here for him. Mm -hmm. So through touch. Let's see what comes up. To me, yeah, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. So allow yourself to feel good. Allow yourself to feel that you are met when you're reaching out. You notice when I'm supporting, I'm always breathing. I never at any point I hold my own breath. Sometimes I sync my breath with the person that's breathing so I can actually feel what they're feeling. If you're breathing at the same rate, you start to feel the same thing. You can stretch your legs down. So we let the tremoring complete its course, we never interrupt it. We let it go on until it stops on its own. It's very important to let the person completely let go and relax and feel supported in this space. This is resourcing, it's allowing the whole system to come down. see there's still some twitches going on so the nervous system is still releasing whatever still at the surface. Now I 
given an opportunity to really sense his own body. One hand on the belly, another hand on the heart. So he has a real sense of his own physicality. And the flow of his own breathing. And when you feel ready, Paul, you can start to come back and you can open your eyes. Take your time. share anything with, with everybody that was your experience? Yeah, it's really good to, to come to that full breath and really feel you know, a release and it's amazing just shaking. And what is the space right now for you? Feeling much more in touch with myself. More alive. mix of really like alive and high and at the same time also really like solid in my body. Yeah. It's a little bit floating.